let's talk about Muhammad. Muhammad is a person around whom Islam was created, which is a religion that counts as an Abrahamic faith. Islam, which is spoken out to us through Muhammad, is one of the monotheistic religions amongst the others, Judaism and Christianity. Muhammad is special because he is considered the person through whom God reveals the religion, uh, the way that we ought to live if we want to please God, the one and only God. So we can look at Muhammad as a prophet in a long line of prophets going back all the way to Adam and Eve. This is supposed to be a biological bloodline, just to put Muhammad into perspective. Muhammad recites to us the Qur'an, which is the Muslim Bible. It tells us what to do and what not to do, and it gives us stories so that we can learn. Amongst the do's and do nots, we get a lot of messages against violence and for praising God. Muhammad is the messenger of God, and we celebrate him receiving the word of God in the ninth month of every year during the month of Ramadan. So Ramadan is a entire month where Muslims around the globe fast and give thanks to God that Muhammad was told what they should do, and they humble themselves by fasting to feel the suffrage of the poor. Islam, given to us by Muhammad, is centered around charity. The death of Muhammad marks a split between what is now the Sunnis and the Shiites, two sects, S-E-C-T, within Islam. So when Muhammad dies, it's not clear who should be the next person in charge. If you want to see Shia Muslims, look at Iran. And if you want to see a Sunni uh, Muslim way of living or a nation, look at Saudi Arabia. But Mo Muhammad himself told us, you can't break up Islam like that. You can't break up religion like that. He would even be upset the fact that we have Jews and Christians and Muslims, let alone the divisions amongst Christianity like the Mormons and the Presbyterians and the Lutherans and the Catholics, like the divisions in Islam, like the Sunnis and the Shiites and the Sufis. Muhammad tells us not to divide the children of God and God. And in the Quran, it says that anyone who is splitting up their religion like that is not following what Muhammad said. So when we are studying Muhammad, we are learning either about a historical figure, some guy who lived, uh, born in Mecca, died in Medina, who was telling us that, the, that God was speaking to him and telling him to spread the word about the right way to live. There's an analogy we can draw between Muhammad and Jesus as with Jesus and Moses. So let's just back up again. We have Abraham who is told that he should leave Ur, Mesopotamia, and God will show him where to go, just start walking. And since Abraham is faithful, and Abraham does everything that God asks him to do, Abraham follows up with God, and God follows up with the covenant that he makes with Abraham. He makes Abraham the father of nations. One of the nations is the nation of Islam, which is given to us through the prophet Muhammad. But before Muhammad, there was Christianity given to us through Jesus. And be before Christianity, there was the laws given to Moses, which gives us the religion of Judaism. So you might see Abraham historically as first leading to a Jewish way of life, what's called the Old Testament to the Christians. Later in the New Testament, the new good news, the new laws given to Jesus. And then you might keep reading after you're done with the Torah and the Christian Bible, the Quran, which includes Adam and Eve and Abraham and Moses and Jesus and follows it up with the new, new news given to us through the spokesperson, Muhammad. Now, Muhammad is not declaring to be Almighty God himself incarnate as a human being speaking as himself. 
Muhammad is saying, I am just a human being who doesn't even want to be responsible for spreading the word, but by golly, God is telling me to write it down and spread the news, and so I will. So there is a difference between Moses and Jesus and Muhammad. The difference is that Christians, or most Christians, believe that Jesus is not just some guy prophesizing, that he is literally Almighty God incarnate. Moses and Muhammad, on the other hand, are claiming to be just some guy prophesizing.